Okay, so this is how you make the vanilla latte in the Delani um, espresso cappuccino machine. First, you want to make sure it is plugged in. Second, um, make sure there is water in the reservoir. Um, and then these little cup things is how you measure out your espresso. So the biggest one is for two um, espresso shots. But the one I'm using right now, which is in this, is only one. So the way you put it in is you put it on like that and you press it down. And it lift it out. You'll see this little groove here and you can take it out. You close the top here and you turn it on with this knob. So right now everything's off and you turn it on like that. So you'll see the red um, light. You do need to make sure you have espresso in here. So take whatever espresso you have. I'm using cool beans. Um, espresso um, use your measuring cup that comes along with the machine this is one espresso scoop for one shot if you need two you'll need to get two of these you'll use this end the flat end to tamper down the espresso and do it somewhat lightly. Make sure you close your espresso bag to keep out moisture. And then you'll need to put it in here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of put it in at an angle and then turn it so it's nice and tight. Take your espresso shot glass and put it underneath here. It's still warming up so I can go ahead and pour the milk in here you will want to pour it at the 250 um, mark that's in this pitcher this pitcher holds 20 um, ounces Ooh, I can't see what I'm doing let's see Okay, so uh, my last video ended when I didn't know it ended, so I'm going to start over. Um, first, I'm going to put in some espresso, and I'm using the Cool Beans um, Coffee Roasters Espresso. Use the measuring cup that came with your um, espresso machine. You want to get one scoop for one shot. And then you'll want to use the tamper to tamper down the espresso. So it's nice and firm, just like that. And then you'll want to put it at an angle and lock it into place. Next, um, make sure that you put in whatever syrup you like. I have um, homemade vanilla syrup that I made and for the amount of milk that is being used, you'll want to put in three um, pumps. And then if you like it sweeter, you can put another pump or however many you want. So it'll be right in here. Next, you'll want to take your shot glass, put it underneath so it catches all the espresso. And now you're ready to turn on the espresso. So just turn it to the right and you'll hear the machine pump up. And as you can tell, the color is um, kind of like a caramely color. That's exactly what you want. And once it's done, which I would say is when it reaches to the top of the 
shot glass, you will want to pour it right into your coffee cup that has the syrup. Um, to turn that back off was to turn it back to the on switch and then you'll need to get ready to steam your milk so then you'll turn it from on to off to the steamer picture and you'll need to wait until it's green for ready. And when you first use the steamer, um, water will come out, so you'll want to use an empty cup and get and catch the extra water before you start steaming your milk. So to steam on this side, you'll have to turn it, the knob all the way to where you see the steam picture. Be careful because it is hot. And then as you can see, there's water in there. So you'll just want to dump that out. Keep it on the off. Take your pitcher that already has milk and your temperature gauge in there. Put it right in to where the wand is in the milk and then you can turn on the steamer. And you can hear it start um, steaming the milk. You want to keep it here. Um, until it reaches about a hundred um, degrees. If you want it more frothy, you'll want to bring down the pitcher a little bit, but not enough to where it's going to get everywhere. Just enough to where you can hear it kind of go like that. And that's how you get more of a froth. If you start to see that it's getting too high for you, you just have to put the wand back into the milk and make sure to keep watch on the temperature. And I like mine more frothy, so I'm gonna like this a couple more times before it gets to 140. Once it reaches 140, turn it off. Bring your pitcher down. Grab your coffee cup, whichever you're going to use, and just pour it right in. Now that will actually fill up um, about, let me think here probably 16 ounces so that will be probably a cup and a cup and a little bit of another cup make sure you have a damp paper towel to clean off your wand because milk will get trapped in there and you don't want dried milk the next time you make a coffee and then you are done